What's going on YouTube? I'm gonna be back with another one. Um, today we're going out on a winter adventure. It's all gonna be flat. I'm shooting another intro. I got a new GoPro and I just shot an intro, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it because I don't know how to use the GoPro yet. So it's a little bit sketchy. So I'm shooting another one with my phone. Um, it's all gonna be flat. I'm going a little bit over a mile. And the kicker is we're going on the lake. So we're gonna go out here uh, we're out here, start getting set up, try out some new techniques. This is the little pack out here that we got. Just dragging it along with me. I have a bunch of necessary things, some unnecessary things, but that's okay because it's always fun to try out new gear. Um, should be a super fun night. I, th I got a buddy coming by. I think we might try to do a little bit of ice fishing as well. Um, a lot of this is a first for me. This is a lot of these are a first for me, so it's gonna be super fun. Uh, let's get at it. Also, while we're traveling out here, I'm gonna go ahead and say to my mom and anybody who's watching who cares about me, I did come out here yesterday. I surveyed all this ice. I took a drill. I drilled about 10 holes in a bunch of different places that I plan to uh, travel today. All of them were four inches, a little bit more than four inches. So I think we're 100% safe. I have, I have no worries about it at all. So you ain't gotta worry about that, but super fun, super cool. We're going to that island way out there. I don't know if y'all can see that out there. Um, we're going out to that island. That's, that's our destination. My plan is I got, uh, I got this oh, Milwaukee chainsaw off Facebook marketplace. I was thinking about cutting up old dead stuff, um, starting a little fire and I'll probably, if there's, I'm sure there's wood on that island, but if there's not, I could always go across there. So that's kind of the plan. I probably won't show up a whole lot of the setup process of this, just mainly because I'm having to learn it myself. I'm still learning a lot of it. Um, but, yeah. I seen a couple deer run across this lake yesterday whenever I was out here drilling it, checking, uh, checking the depth of the ice and everything. I seen a couple deer run across here. That was pretty cool. It'd be really cool if it ever did this early enough in the season that you could still get the big racks on them because I'm pretty sure all the racks fell off by now. We have officially made it to the spot where I'm going to try to set up camp and chill. Um, start unloading some stuff. Like I said earlier, I probably won't do a whole lot of the, the actual ridgeline process and stuff because I'm learning a lot of it myself, just now getting it down. Um, but yeah, this is it. it. looks like we got a little bit of firewood and stuff we can cut up with the saw. So that'd be fun. It's officially time to start moving all this junk into camp. I got my tent set up. I'm not gonna lie, it took me a little longer than I had hoped. Uh, I'm not even gonna front on nobody. Some of them knots and stuff, I practiced them without any weight and uh, the ridge line had to run through loops on the top of the tent so it was kind of hard with the weight of the tent on there i figured it out i figured it out so we're gonna go get moved in so i think what i'm gonna do is uh i brought this i think it's gonna come in clutch because i was Kind of don't want to be walking around in a bunch of mud so i think i'm actually going to use this little snow snow shovel here scoop some of the snow out of there just so there's not so much snow in the tent i'll get back with y'all whenever we get done first things first i'm gonna pop down we're already dressed just so i uh got somewhere to sit oh we're gonna get right into it here See if we got everything in here we need. I know a lot of people don't, but I actually put a sock over that just to kind of keep the, the viewing glass from getting messed up, shaked around too much. I'll just wrap it up in a sock, little protectant.
see how it rolls. Do I want it on that side or do I want it on this side? Or right there, that thing. Now this is the tricky thing. Whenever you buy these stoves, they come with this single piece of pipe here. You actually have to roll this out and roll it up hot dog style. It can be a little tricky, but uh, I think we'll I think we'll be able to do it. I think it'll be alright. I'll put those leather gloves on if it starts to feel like something sketchy, but <laughs> okay. It took quite a while because I didn't really want to bend it up any more than I had to. And it did get snow all over the outside of it, but it's there. It's a pipe, it's gonna work. Yeah, yeah. It's nice out here today, actually. I can't even lie. Can't even lie. It's pretty nice. Nice and quiet out here today. It's awesome. some of these wood chips in this uh I gotta keep putting these wood chips right off in this heater just a little something something to catch up here in a little while whenever I go to start the fire all right she's cooking right now turn them dampers down fire turn it on down turn it on down turn it on down all right so, uh, finally got a little bit of heat. It took me a little while to figure out the ridge line, um, some of those methods that I had tried out. So it took me a little while to do that, but now that I got a little heat cranking, I'm gonna eat a, uh, eat a little jerky stick. Chainsaw seems to be working pretty good, as you can see. Got some uh, wood here. I don't know how much of wood it's gonna actually take. So I'm just um, playing it by ear. But for those of you who are just popping in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, super excited to be out here trying this whole thing out. It's pretty warm over here in this corner and I just got it started. And um, no complaints. This is the kind of relaxing that I was hoping to get. It was not relaxing getting it set up, but you know, now it's pretty chill, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call a couple of my friends. Maybe we'll check out the Facebook now that I got the fire going and I'm warm. Um, I'll probably go around as the evening goes, kind of tidy up some of these little draft holes and stuff that I see. That's kind of slapped together, but it'll get better as the night goes, hopefully. But uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoy. I just uh, walked out there probably 50 yards or so, cut a hole in the ice, maybe drop something down here a little bit later whenever my buddy gets here. Um, wow, well, my lens is dirty. Um, but yeah, got camp set up. Got all the ridge lines. Uh, there's quite a few ridge lines. I think nine of them hanging off there. I also have an extra ridge line that I'm about to hook some, uh, pressic loops to on the inside so I can hang some stuff through the middle in there. But our smoke's not smoking too crazy much. We'll get in there and see if the fire's still going. Okay. It's just 
barely rolling so we're gonna make sure i did turn them all down because i didn't want to burn all my wood up too fast and it didn't have to be crazy hot in here i just wanted to make sure it was still still rolling a little bit but looks like it is got some wood on the back uh back there and just waiting for my homie to show up maybe we'll eat some grub now we got a hole for uh we will yeah eat some good grub and now we got a hole to do some ice fishing so he was wanting to do some ice fishing i, I actually just plan to come out here and camp tonight but he uh has never been ice fishing neither have i he wanted to go so i was like well i guess i'll stick a little i got one ice fishing pole he give it to me so uh yeah i brought the one ice fishing pole i got and we're gonna see if maybe we can't get lucky if we do get lucky before we're ready to eat we might be eating something different dropped my gloves whenever i was cutting a hole in the ice i dropped my glove in the water so uh i just figured it'd take them forever to dry if i hung them from the ridge line up here so i actually stuck a couple logs on there I'm just gonna set them up here and see if maybe that won't won't help dry them out a couple that, maybe that'll work All right, you guys, my bro Batman showed up. We're cooking some dinner. We went out there, we got some lines set. Uh, well, I'm not gonna show you because it's really fucking dark. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, we're cooking up some bacon. Then uh, over here, I'm turn my headlight on for you. We got some, uh, some potatoes and steaks about to go over here on this fire. We actually need to go in here and check the uh, tent fire, to be honest. Make sure that, oh yes, yeah, sir. Tent fire's looking good. Um, dude, this tent fire looks great. So, yeah, show you all the, uh, you can see those guy lines really well. But, it's our setup there. Everything's, everything's banging. We're about to get our grub on. I'm gonna be chilling. Hopefully we'll get a bite out there on our fishing lines way out there somewhere. Um, yeah, we're about to be eating good around here. Oh yeah, also, cheers, bub. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the monsters. Pretty good. Just watch over here and check our fishing. Thought we heard a bell, but there are no bells or nothing. Nothing much happening in the old fishing hole. I, I doinked my line once or twice just to see if, uh, see if maybe it'll track something on the next awful i'm not much of an ice fisherman but now the way we got steaks some potatoes going on right over there you can't see the fire from here but it's all right what's up dog bro <laughs> nothing nothing dang it's all right this may not be the super spot for them either you know we don't know morning uh, I'm just getting up and at it I uh, got some water over here getting warm so that I can make me a cappuccino kind of get woke up and chill in my chair here I opted for the hammock last night mainly because I thought it would be a little bit more comfortable than ground and the ground is pretty wet um, so my buddy Batman, he la left last night at about 11 o'clock. We fished for a couple hours and then he took off. You can clearly see I had way too much wood. 
I, uh, I've decided that you got to get up about every hour to hour and 20 minutes with this stove if you don't want it to get so cold that you don't want to get out of your hammock. Uh, I did want to see how long it would last, so I went from 1, 1.25 in the morning to 3.45 in the morning. And there were still coals, and I got it going, but it was cold in here, and I felt it for like the last 30 minutes or so of uh, before I got out. I could feel the cold coming through. So I decided that the best... I think the best route is every hour, hour and 20 minutes. I got the small stove too. That's a mini, like a, I think it's called a tea brick mini or something. Um, so, yeah. Still gotta put my other pants on. My buddy Batman, he left his little chainsaw out here and some fishing gear. So he's coming, he actually said he's gonna come back this morning and uh, I don't know we'll see next up we'll make a little bit of cappuccino uh -huh. just like so we'll start out with three scoops see if that works Might make some breakfast. I don't know. Might make some ramen noodles. I think I'm in more of a ramen noodle mood than I am oatmeal. I have both, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a trash bag I brought because I knew there was trash here from other people. And, uh, I plan to take all my trash and any other trash from other people that I've seen and drag it back out with me. So, you gotta make sure I leave that out. Shout out to my sister also for making me this super cool shirt. I got it, I think, last year for Christmas or my birthday or something. And, uh, yeah, shout out to her for hooking me up. Appreciate that. She's always got the cool ideas for gifts. She's always been artsy, stuff like that. I'll probably have her help me eventually with like some sort of little uh, logo or something for the Humble Hoobly stuff, which I don't I don't get out very often. I only get to do this um, a couple times a year. So it is what it is, but when I do it, I really enjoy it. That I think that's what's important. I need another scoop of that, aren't I? Because I put it up. Because I just stuck it in that bag, it's stuck in the gold. Guarantee I'm going to need another scoop. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. I like that. These are some insulated. I got these really cheap. I got these for like 20 bucks at Gabe's uh, called Ringer Thermolite. Honestly, they work pretty good for stuff like this. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. The rain quit for a little bit. Now it sounds like it's trying to come back. I don't think, I don't think it gets any better than this. I don't think. It probably don't get any better than this, honestly. Mm. This cappuccino, mm. I don't think I'll go without that. Because right now I'm glad I brought it. stove man i like it it's a little po molly i think it's i think it's tea brick mini could be mistaken but i'm pretty sure it's a tea brick mini titanium
You probably already know that by the color. I opted for the uh, single stove pot, single piece instead of the section. I know a lot of people have a hard time out of these. I haven't had a whole bad hard time out of it. I took my time with it the first time whenever I burned it in. I burned it in at home. I didn't burn it at, in uh, out in the field. So, yeah. Um, the second time rolling it out was better after it's burned in. Didn't really have to, I put a couple little baby dents in it, but nothing crazy. Nothing that would keep you from not using it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. I look forward into using that in the fall, cold fall time, spring time, not rain, rain and snow. This is right now. It kind of sucks because I'm going to have to, uh, I have to pack out in this rain probably today. Problem with saying a second night is um, the ice is melting as it rains, so ain't really got a whole lot. I need to go out and work on my guy lines too. So I'm probably gonna get a mega fire roaring in that thing as I pack out, open up these doors, let some of this condensation vent out. At least I hope it will. And uh, yeah, should be good. Probably make some Raymond later. Start to get everything opened up and let it breathe a little bit. Get a good hot fire going. Still got my cappuccino sitting down there. Keep kind of reheating it. I'll show you the only thing I was a little concerned about, but I had to deal with it last night uh, against my will. So if you want to know, I was most mostly worried about this guy right here, which we didn't have any wind. But that limb right there, that's the only limb that sketched me out. Um, for anybody out there, don't sleep under stuff like that. Okay, I'm dumb, so I don't count. But don't don't sleep under those. Those are called widow makers. <coughs> All right, I'm slowly packing up. Fire feels good. You can see my breath in here, but it's really not that cold when you're sitting next to that. I got all the doors open right now, letting a lot of that condensation just dissipate out of the inside of here and letting letting everything breathe and try to get rid of a lot of con condensation. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna make me some ramen noodles. It's kind of a uh, camping staple to eat ramen noodles while you're out, right? So we're gonna do just that. This is some, uh, What's left over is some beef stew that we had. It's really, really good stuff right here. I brought this to add it to some ramen noodles. This is starting to look pretty good. I just put a scoop of stuff in there. Ouch, she's hot. She's a real hot. I'm use this little rag right here. I'm trying to show you. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's got some. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more beef stew in there just because this might be the only time I eat today. It's a possibility. Well, I mean, at least until I get out of the woods. So, uh, might as well pack it with some protein, huh? And that, uh, that cold stew will help cool that off a little bit. It's got corn, carrots, um, celery, beef stock, two ribeyes. It was a it was a gravy that we made to go over some taters, and uh, you know what? It works really good as a works really really good as an additive. Ooh, hope y'all can see that. Maybe you can see it. It works perfect to add to ramen noodles. Oh yeah, that's really good. Hopefully it'll quit raining. This will give me some energy and I'll be able to pack up. And if I could just get a good third, nah, nah, if I could get a good hour without rain, that would be nice.
All right, it's official. We are loading out, and y'all might see me throw a fall through the ice because it's a little sketchy out here. But I think we're going to be good to go. Batman came back, grabbed some of his stuff from last night. I think he's a little scared. <laughs> I mean, it was a good time, but it's going to be a lot of work getting everything uh, cleaned out, dried out, and all that because it's raining. Of course, it'll be raining on my loadout, but it was fun. We tried it out, and we did it. Dude, don't even care that we're here, though, at all. He's just chilling. What's up, buddy? He actually kind of looks like he wants to fight you, bro. He looks like he's like uh, ready to beat us up. I ain't gonna lie. Chest out and everything. Turn towards us, blew it up. <laughs> Think you got a big chest, right? <laughs> Check out mine. <laughs> Check out. Hey, man. Keep you little wild ass over there, bro. Yeah. 